A volleyball no more has a position or momentum when it's not observed than does an electron. Only in the act of observation do you construct a phenomenal volleyball with a position, motion, color, and shape. Likewise, only in the act of observation is an electron constructed with a position or momentum or other dynamical properties. All phenomena are constructed by observation, whether quantum phenomena or volleyball phenomena. Experiences need not resemble the relational realm to be well adapted. They need only to be a useful guide to behavior. The icons in your computer screen are a useful guide for behavior toward our computer, but those icons don't resemble the circuits and software that ultimately determine how well adapted your behaviors are. Indeed, the icons are a useful guide to behavior precisely because they don't resemble circuits and software. Circuits and software are extremely complex. And if your icons resembled them, it would take you forever to get anything done on your computer. Your behavior would be less adapted, not more. For example, snake experiences are real experiences and must be taken seriously. But they don't entail that anything in the relational realm resembles a snake, just as a trash can icon doesn't entail that the circuits and software resemble a trash can. Neither biology nor quantum theory dictates the nature of the relational realm nor does any other science. Because the phenomenal and relational realms need not resemble each other, because their relationship is arbitrary and systematic, the tools of science can help us guess at the nature of the relational realm, but might never dictate a final verdict.